Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Kashif Kamran and welcome to the fourth discussion uh, around the SBL December 22 examiner report and the fourth perspective of the examiner which is covered in the examiner report is about time management. Now in terms of time management, let's see what the examiner has to say to the students. Now in terms of time management, according to the examiner, most candidates answered all the five tasks which was in the paper and there was no significant indication that they had run out of time or stamina on this examination. Now this is very true because I always believe that time management isn't an issue in the SPL paper because you have four long hours that needs a lot of stamina as well and that's what the examiner is also emphasizing that there was no indication that you even run out of the stamina or the energy. Now, the first one hour is the reading and planning time. And the later three hours is when you're writing the answer for an 80 technical marks. Now, writing an answer for 80 technical marks in three hours is not a difficult task, provided you have done a wonderful planning and the reading of the exhibit. Uh, if you have not done it or you have not effectively utilized the reading and planning time, you might find yourself into trouble and you might be repeating uh, unnecessary things or you might be writing a very long answer that, that is something we discussed even in the third guidance of the examiner padding up the answer if you're unnecessarily padding up your answers uh, just because you didn't read the exhibits carefully that that might uh, result into a situation where you run out of time but on a broader basis uh, time management isn't an issue in SBL and uh, the stamina, yes, it needs stamina, but again, the students do control that in a four hour time. And we know from September 23, uh, that time would go down to three hours and 15 minutes as the case with normal strategic level papers in ACC. But at least after the June exam, the June 23 exam, the, the uh, paper is still four hours. <laughs> This suggests that candidates are improving their time management skills. So examiner is very happy in the December 22 examiner report saying that uh, in considering uh, that most of the candidates completed all the five tasks, uh, it shows signs of improvement in time management. Candidates are strongly recommended to take mock exams under full exam conditions before the actual exam. And this, this is extremely important, right? That you take the mock exam under exam conditions. And we know ACCA do publish a mock exam uh, by the mid of uh, May for the June exams. And same goes uh, for other exams that uh, like two, three weeks before the ACCA publish uh, a mock exam, which should then be done uh, under a proper exam condition with a proper timer to ensure that you finish off things within the four hour time zone you have up till the June 23 exams. <clears throat> uh, before the actual exams, right? To get used to the demands on concentration, thinking and writing. So if you do a mock exam under exam condition, you will get the real challenge of how you think, how you write, how you read, how you plan, and how you, how you concentrate in those four hours. That is very important, concentrating in that four hours, because that concentration is important, because four hours is a very long time. So concentration in that uh, plays a very crucial part. So that is what the examining team is advising you to take a mock exam so that you can excel uh, in the time management skills for the SPL paper. <clears throat> the last perspective on time management, Candidates uh, also need to be aware of how time can be poorly used in exam. How can you make a poor use of the time uh, in the exam? And what can cause a poor utilization of time uh, as per the examiner? Number one, wasting time by including material not relevant to the task requirement. A lot of times students do that. A lot of time the student try to write a lot of knowledge around the subject matter. So if the if examiner is testing something around the integrated reporting or the six capitals of integrated reporting, they try first to tell examiner about the six capitals or giving definitions of those six capitals, not linking the capitals with the case or not telling examiner what is the situation with each capital in the case. So you might be wasting a lot of time by, by writing something well, which is not relevant in, in the given uh, context of the paper. The next 
writing elaborate and lengthy plans. So if when you're writing the answer, at the time of writing the answer, you put very lengthy plans, as in like, I will do this, I will do that. A lot of times students, uh, students do a planning of the answer first before they write the answer. So you can do those plannings in the first one hour when you're reading and planning. But in the three hours when you're writing the answer, please don't do those lengthy plannings because it is now the time to write the answer. And those lengthy plannings in the writing time can, can result into a situation where you run out of time. So lengthy plans, if you, are, if you want to make plans, that is in the first one hour. But again, that should not be lengthy plans. That should just be copy pasting information from the case study relevant to each task as guided in the previous uh, discussions on the same topic. <clears throat> Making the same point twice or more in slightly different ways. A time student pick the same point and try to write it in a different perspective again and again. Should not do that, particularly in the task 3B of the exam from the December 22 report. Marker will not give any additional marks for points which are repeated or restated. So marker will not reward you anything. So if you pick up one point, uh, you explain it, then you move on. And at a certain time in the same answer, you pick up that point and change the perspective. That same point being discussed again and again, either from a different perspective, examiner will not be rewarding you any marks for that. So please don't waste time on repeating the same point again and again. There might be unique points. There will definitely be unique points in the case study, which you should be exploring to put up a very impressive answer for the marking team. So this is what uh, can result into a poorly used time in exam, wasting time by including materials which are not relevant, writing elaborated lengthy plans, or repeating the same point again and again. But overall, examining team is very happy that the time management has improved in SPL and there are no indications that students are running out of time in the SPL paper. So I hope this, uh, this, uh, this insights by the examining team will help you uh, in preparing for your upcoming SPL exams. The tutor, Gash Kamran, signing off from an analysis of the December 22 examiner report. And we were looking at the fourth perspective, time management.